So within the cyberpunk world, there are relationship options in the game, which if you play your cards right will lead to a sexual relationship. There are four romance options in this game and today we check out what it takes to romance Judy. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, quickly before we go any further, the winner of my recent Cyberpunk 2077 game giveaway can be seen on the screen. Now if this is you, hit me up on my Discord, links below and I'll sort you out a copy of the game or PayPal you money to the country you are in to purchase the game. Also guys, if you want to be in the chance of winning the copy yourself, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed, I will announce a winner in a few days to come. Good luck. So you may or may not know, you can romance certain NPCs in this game. It requires specific requirements to do and today I will make sure you meet those requirements to indeed be in a romantic relationship with Judy. Now this video will show no footage of what needs to be done, I will just jot it down on screen for you to take note of or save and come back to the video at a later date. I don't want to ruin any of the missions because this does uh, include many many missions and many many dialogue options. So my plan here is to just tell you what you need to do and what you need to select dialogue option wise when the time comes to it. Okay so to start, Judy will only have a romantic relationship with characters whose voice tone and body type are set to feminine. So guys out there, you are out of luck. But that's okay, you can always create a new character. So Judy Alvarez is a character you meet early on in the game, one of the more popular characters prior to this game's release. So meeting her early on and doing missions with her is all good and dandy. And early on choices don't really change the outcome of what can happen. It all starts and the game starts picking up on this after you complete the double life main quest mission which is the fifth mission after you complete the prologue. So after you've completed this mission, the double life mission, you will then need to wait 24 in game hours and you will then have a mission pop up for you from duty called both sides now. This is a side mission. Here you have to go to her apartment and help her out with Evelyn. After this side mission is done you need to wait another 12 in-game hours and you will receive a message from Judy. Once you've had this message wait another 6 in-game hours and make sure you are far away from Judy's apartment otherwise this will not trigger. She will eventually give you a call asking for your help. This mission is called X Factor and be warned if you refuse her help the deal's off and so are all relationship opportunities. But if you do this by mistake and refuse to help her, you can quickly call her back and offer your assistance. And from there, go ahead and complete the side mission for her. Once done here, wait another six in-game hours to receive yet another text from Judy. This text will open up the side quest called Talking About a Revolution. And this side quest sees you go into Judy's apartment and this has to be done between 5 p.m. and midnight. Here guys you need to make sure you choose to help them and not let them down. Letting them down results in this relationship failing and the side quest for Judy ends here. But again you can call Judy back and again offer your help and light that spark again. So carry on with this talk about a revolution mission and get it done. Now during the end of this mission you will have a dizzy spell. Judy offers you to get some rest and sleep on her couch. There are no repercussions for refusing so do as you please here. So once you are done with this mission, wait another 6 hours in game and you will receive another text from Judy, in which you then need to wait another 6 in game hours. The mission will be called Pisces. Within this mission you do need to select the proper dialogue for this relationship to start. So this mission more or less ends with you talking to Mako. It's your choice of dialogue here which is super important for your relationship with Judy. So within this chat with Mako, you need to refuse to go along with her plan or refuse her payment. These are the choices you need to make. After this the mission concludes and you are done with it. You now have to wait another 24 hours in game and you will then get another call from Judy. The next mission here will be called Pyramid Sung. The mission sees you taking a dive with Judy then staying the night with her. It's important you agree to doing both of these. So upon you going for that dive and then accepting to spend a night with her in the bungalow, within this sequence you are given the opportunity to kiss her. You must kiss her because why wouldn't you? 
The next morning guys, join her on that pier and tell her that your night together was the beginning of something amazing. And well, then, in game, you get what you want. And this will trigger the sex scene with Judy, I do believe, and the relationship after with her, which does extend far past this point. And she actually becomes your partner, which plays a part later on. But I don't want to spoil it for you. And that is it, people. This is how you get into a sexual relationship with Judy. And I hope this video helps you out if you were wondering. Now, I know it's early stages of this game being released as of right now. So you may just want to bookmark this video and come back later or add it to favourites so you know what you gotta do. But yeah, this is how you get into a relationship with Judy. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.